Hi everyone, welcome to Water Goddess Tarot. So the topic for today is, if your person could, what would they say to you right now? You can see three images on the screen. I'll show you the close-ups as well. This is pile number one. This is pile number two. And this is pile number three. You can pause the video, take your time, and choose the image that you feel drawn to the most intuitively. Meanwhile, let's just begin with pile number one. Hi, pile number one, welcome to your reading. So let's just figure out if your person could, what would they say to you right now? We have a six of swords in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse, Soulmates, Chivalry. I'll take these message cards later. Okay. Now, pile number one, when it comes to your person, they really want to apologize at this point of time. Okay. This person is stuck on you. Let me tell you that. This person is stuck on you. They're not able to kind of move forward in life. There are very high chances that you guys ended on a sour note. You guys have had some kind of disagreements or arguments with each other. Or there is a conflict that's going on even when you're listening to this reading. I mean the communication between the two of you is something that has not been very pleasant. Okay. However, things have transpired in this connection. You're not very happy with the outcome of it. You're not very happy with where you stand with this person whom you're watching this reading for. And right now, this person really wants to apologize to you. They want to come forward and they want to mend ways, okay? They really want to sort things out with you. Whatever differences the two of you have had, they want to put an end to that. And they really want to kind of, you know, bring more harmony into this connection. Your person at this point of time is only looking forward to kind of, you know, come and ask you for another chance. They need a second chance when it comes to you and they want you to give them and this connection one more opportunity and you know just figure out if things can work together, if the two of you can work together, if the two of you can find a middle ground, okay? The person that you're watching this reading for is missing you at this point of time, okay? And they might have realized your value after losing you or after losing communication with you. There is this energy of this person not being very grateful when they had you in their life. Or this person has taken you for granted a lot, a lot many times. Okay. But now they are just scratching their head. This person might have even cried over you. Okay. You might be feeling that what is she talking about? My person is very egoistic. He or she is never going to shed a tear for me. Forget about them crying and stuff like that. But no, this person has cried over you. Okay. And this person has also felt very trapped. I mean, they wanted to do right by you, but there was something that was stopping them. There were some obstacles. This could be something in regards to communication something in regards to your person being in their head a lot sabotaging this connection and stuff like that not making the most of the opportunity when it was there when you were there in their life but then there is a lot of regret that i can sense in your person's energy okay and your person knows for a fact that this connection kind of fell apart because of them. They are taking accountability for that, but they don't know if they should come forward and tell you this. Now, why is this happening or why are they not able to come forward? Might be because they feel that you're going to reject them or they feel that you're going to snap 
or you know you're going to show your anger and stuff like that but there's still something that is stopping this person to actually come forward they really want to mend things with you but they're not able to if your person could they would tell you that they feel a past life connection with you you feel very comfortable you feel like a soulmate to them you feel as if you understand them and you get them the way nobody else has been able to at least till now okay so that's why you feel very familiar to this person you feel very very comfortable i'm just getting this thing that you feel like home okay and this person really wants to embrace you in their arms and just give you a long tight hug because they're really missing you a lot at this point of time whenever you're watching this reading whenever you're listening to me this is a timeless reading okay and this person is missing you immensely right now okay whenever you see triple 3 okay or 33 know that this person is going to make a move on you okay know that communication is coming know that your person is planning something to you know kind of come forward give you a surprise send you that message apologize and stuff like that whenever you start seeing a lot of threes that's going to be your hint that this person is kind of coming back into your life okay if your person could they would want to kind of you know take you out on dates treat you like royalty for that matter this person really wants to pamper you i mean regardless of their gender they really want to take care of you they really want to you know there's something about your hair because i don't know why i'm touching my hair a lot when i am talking to you so maybe this person loves your hair a lot okay or they are obsessed with your hair there's something about you either having very long hair silky hair for that matter i mean however your hair is this person really loves to run their fingers okay through your hair and coming back to the main thing your person really wants to go out on dates with you your person really wants to treat you like the man or the woman of their dreams they really want to bring you flowers and you know just treat you with respect okay there is love in this connection your person loves you and they feel a very deep rooted bond with you okay Firstly they are very attracted to you secondly this person is very emotionally connected with you and they have realized this after the separation whatever separation you are going through could be physical could be emotional you know could be just anything for that matter but there is some kind of distance that's there at this point of time between you and your person and it's in this phase of you know this unsure energy that has transpired in this connection is pushing your person forward to kind of figure out the true essence of this connection to figure out the depth of this connection and now is that time when this person is realizing as to how important you are as to how much you mean to them as to how much they would love to pamper you they would love to take care of you they would love to provide for you for that matter okay even if you are a man who's listening to this reading your person really wants to take care of you your person really wants to make you so comfortable that you can be your true self with them okay <laughs> your person really wants to you know impress you they really want to impress you and they are going to be very very careful whenever they kind of you know plan to make a move on you this person is going to be very mindful to not do something that's going to irk you because they really want to win you over they really want to win back your trust your love your affection 
the kind of care that you showed towards them this person misses all of that this person misses all of you at this point of time and if they could they would tell you as to how much they want you back in their life now let's just move on to the message cards that we have and get more messages from your person now here we have forgive that says of course anger can always be justified but then so can forgiveness just depends on how much more you want from the adventure okay see i told you before your person really wants forgiveness from you they know that you are angry and this is another reason this person knows that you know you are angry this person knows that you are not going to buy their shit i don't know what they did to you or you know what transpired between the two of you that led to you being in separation but this person is kind of a bit intimidated i would say a bit scared also for that matter and that's why they're not able to gather their courage and confidence to actually come forward and apologize for whatever has happened or for their own actions for that matter okay the next message we have is it's not as if you need anyone that says for as long as you wish to keep them in your life whoever they may be understanding them as opposed to changing them will wildly improve the chances that they'll wish to keep you in their life on the other hand you're pretty much stuck with me oh wow how i love you okay see this person loves you but then there might have been a lot of differences that the two of you might have gone through when you were together maybe this person has certain habits or the way they operate that did not sit very well with you maybe you two are very two maybe the two of you are very different people you have different ideologies the way you look at life is different maybe the two of you are opposites okay and there are certain issues that you found your person has and they thought that they did not so see there is some kind of imbalance in this connection and there is a way that your person operates that doesn't sit very well with you but over here your person if they could they would tell you that do not try to change me accept me for who i am with all that i've got with all my flaws because if you accept me for who i am rather than wanting to change me as a person it's going to be a beautiful ride together and we are going to make a lot many memories with each other it's going to be a blissful experience because i'll be able to bloom freely rather than me always being worried about what's going to piss you off okay so this person is scared to make you angry or this person is scared to disappoint you in some shape way or form and that's why they kind of want you to embrace them for who they are the last message that we have is love doesn't have to mean near now this is very kind of obvious that there is some kind of distance between the two of you again could be physical or emotional or both and this card says some are better loved at a distance for a while anyway and that's okay besides love doesn't really know the difference okay see this person says for a while this means that they are definitely planning to come back into your life okay this person is going to come back into your life so if you were in the energy of you know you giving up your hopes and feeling all sad and stuff like that don't be because you don't have to do anything this person is definitely going to make a move on you and they do love you they do love you a lot even if there's nothing that's happening in this connection at this point of time even if you don't want to look at each other's face or talk to each other or things are just you know all over the place and you feel that it's the end of this connection then no it's not this person still loves you they are only choosing to love you from a distance at this point of time because they are not ready to come forward though they are planning to come forward 
okay they really want to so they are gathering that courage they are kind of you know accumulating the confidence that's required to come back into your life and to start afresh when it comes to this connection and whenever your person feels ready they are going to come back and tell you the truth of the matter and express their honest and pure feelings that they have for you so yes that's what i have for you yeah pile number 1 if you liked your reading please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya hi pile number 2 welcome to your reading so let's just figure out if your person could what would they say to you right now so for you we have temperance upright six of wands upright then we have luminosity the garden and we'll take the messages later let me just first finish with this bit okay now by number 2 if your person could they would tell you that they want to bring back balance into this connection they would tell you as to how much balance you have brought into their life let me tell you your energy is very grounding okay your energy is so rooted that you bring peace wherever you go your energy is very calming it's very very soothing and your person is in love with how you make them feel you make them feel at ease you make them feel at peace there isn't this anxiety in their energy when they are with you when they are talking to you or when they are thinking about you so whenever this person is going through a lot of anxiety nervousness they start thinking about you because you bring them peace you bring them you bring them back to reality so if this person could they would firstly say a big thank you to you why because it's because of you that this person has restored balance in his or her life okay you play a very important role in your person's life and they are very very grateful for whatever you've done for them even if you've done nothing for this person in the physical world your energy has helped this person heal okay you have a very healing aura pile number 2 and there's something about you that's very soothing that's very very soothing i know i'm repeating myself but i just feel like you have a very soothing voice too there's something about your voice that this person loves you are a pure soul there's a lot of purity to you and if this person could they would tell you that you are an angel on planet earth and they are in awe of how beautiful you look along with the fact that you're so humble about it okay you're very good looking pile number 2 you're very very good looking i know that i'm jumping from just one aspect to the other but then it's your person it's your person that has so much to say when it comes to you that they are pushing me towards multiple directions at once if this person could they would tell you as to how much they love your face they are in love with the way your face looks with your facial features with your hair your eyes your lips your nose i mean your face is their favorite thing about you and your face has a lot of innocence it has a lot of purity you know there is a lot of white 
light to you there is a lot of pure energy to you pile number 2 and if this person could they would tell you exactly this this person also loves your skin the color of your skin or the texture of your skin there's something about the way you look and the way you carry yourself you have a fan in this person so if this person could they would actually tell you that you know what i am a fan and i don't know how did i land up with you i feel a bit undeserving of somebody who is as good looking as you not just when it comes to your physical beauty but also the beauty of your soul i mean you are a rare gem pile number 2 i'm not hyping you up i'm just telling you what i can see for you if this person is kind of you know just going all gagas when it comes to you there's a reason behind that and that reason is very very evident because you're not just a pretty face you're not just a good looking man or a woman you're somebody who's got a lot of values morals integrity authenticity a lot of respect in your energy i mean you demand respect and the way you carry yourself i mean it's very rare to find people like you and if your person could they would tell you as to how rare you are and as to how lucky they feel that you both crossed paths okay this person feels that they might have done something good in their life that they got introduced to somebody who's as beautiful as you are who's as good of a soul as you are okay this person has met a lot of people pile number 2 but nobody compares to you nobody compares to you nobody ever will compare to you because they know as to how rare you are and i am feeling a bit anxious at this point of time because this person is craving to communicate with you this person is craving to tell you all of this in the physical world in the 3d world okay your person has finally come to this conclusion and if they could they would tell you that they have made a final call when it comes to who they want when it comes to what they want out of this connection that the two of you share and this person wants you okay this person wants you because you are everything that they've always wanted in a partner but they thought that they'll never be able to get these qualities just in one person but since the time you've entered their life you have changed their perspective on love on romance on relationships on commitment on just everything for that matter you have changed this person they have matured because of you and if they could they would tell you that you know what i'm coming to win you over because you're mine and that's about it okay so it's like there is a bit of this possessive energy that i can sense and there is this sense of them feeling like a winner if you agree to be with them okay they have put you on a pedestal let me tell you that this person has put you on a pedestal this person feels that they don't deserve you i'll be very honest with you your person feels that they don't deserve you they don't know if you're going to say yes if you're going to say no or if you already are with this person this person is not able to kind of digest the fact that they have somebody who's as good as you Who are you, yeah? Pile number two. You're very angelic. Again and again, I'm getting this message. You look like an angel, okay? You look like an angel. You feel like an angel. Your presence is very angelic. You're so damn healing. Oh my God! I mean, forget this person. You have a lot of fans. pile number two. I'm getting this message very, very strongly that you have a lot of fans. if you are very open 
when it comes to your social media if you're very active on social media if you have an open profile when it comes to you know instagram and stuff like that or if you are in the public eye you have no idea as to how many people are crushing on you i know this is not a part of this reading but i'm getting this channeled message that you don't know as to how many admirers you have at present so many people want to be in your energy field but you are a catch you are a catch and the world is waiting when it comes to who you're going to choose okay because i don't think you're in a relationship at this point of time but even if you are not many people know about that okay if your person could they would want you to be easy with them now while i was just recording this message the electricity went off and this gives me an insight into the fact that maybe your person doesn't want me to give this message to you but i am telling you that whenever this person kind of comes back into your life or they come forward and express their feelings to you they want i mean they don't want you to stop them okay they want you to go with the flow so maybe you are dealing with somebody who wants things at their convenience okay maybe this person doesn't want to provide you with a lot of clarity as to where the two of you stand when it comes to this connection maybe this person is scared when it comes to labels maybe this person has always been a player or you know they are kind of scared of commitment and stuff like that so they would want you to accept whatever they are giving to you okay i mean there's some kind of unsurety and that's because you are more independent as compared to this person you have your life together in this person's eyes at least you have your life together you are independent you make your money you are very successful you look good you feel good you are emotionally spiritually mentally very healthy you are physically very healthy you look younger than your age you make good money you are the king or the queen of your own life of your own world okay and you don't have a problem in staying single you don't have a problem in just being in your own energy you are not an attention seeker and your person knows that okay that's why it's important for you to kind of know where this person is coming from and if you're okay in the way this person is treating you i mean of course i don't have a problem with that but they have a bit of a sneaky energy which i don't like and that energy is coming from a place of insecurity from a place of them feeling small in front of you okay and this is like something that you cannot solve for them okay now let's just move ahead and figure out what more messages they want to give you here we have convince yourself not others that says the need to clarify explain or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self serving What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways. Now here this person is going through exactly what I said a minute back or few seconds back but they're kind of putting it all on you. So if your person could they would say to you that do not ask me questions okay do not ask me questions do not try to you know push my buttons let me just go with the flow i know that you love me okay so you might have your guards up with this person this person might have been a bit hot and cold with you even in the past so now you're very careful when you're dealing with them okay so you have your guards up this person knows that it is very difficult to kind of fool you 
they know that it's very important for them to come straight to come towards you only when they intend to play no games and over here they are wanting you to kind of treat them in an easy manner to not be tough on them to not be difficult okay but you're not difficult okay you just have standards pile number two you have standards and it's very good that you have standards if your person is capable enough to meet them it's good for them but if they're not able to meet your standards i think you deserve better okay the next message that they have is you know what to do this says in all battles of heart over the mind go with your heart because truly it's a lot easier for your mind to catch up with your heart than your heart to catch up with your mind a whole lot not that i don't love your mind see i'm telling you this person is a bit sneaky okay they know that you're intelligent okay you're not just a pretty face i said this before and your person knows that you are somebody who has brains you're somebody who uses your brain you are intellectually very stimulating you're very knowledgeable you're very wise plus you are good looking okay so now here this person your person wants you to listen to your heart to make decisions when you are you know i mean to make decisions from your heart space especially when it comes to your person so if your person could they would tell you to use your heart than your head and say yes to them choose your emotions over your logic they don't want you to have that balance between you using your emotions and you using your brain as well no this person wants you to be emotionally driven so that you do not expect a lot out of them see if this reading would have been for somebody else i would have read these cards differently okay but there is an underlying energy to your reading that's why the interpretation is different so for every reading the interpretation is going to be different based on the energies that i can already sense and when it comes to your case i can smell a bit of a sneaky energy okay i know you might not like this message but it is what it is pile number 2 your last message is karma is on your side that says if you could read all the minds that i read hear all the prayers that i hear and beat all the hearts that i beat i wonder if you'd even believe how often you're thought of talked about and fallen in love with it's payback time okay now here if your person could they would tell you that you've always been very generous with your energy with your love with your affection when it comes to them they might not have reciprocated the same energy but now it's time for you to receive you have been the giver in the past but now is the time for you to receive love now is the time for you to receive whatever you've given to this person and they really want to pay back they really want to shower you with a lot of love with a lot of affection but again i would say i don't know who you're dealing with pile number 2 but use both your head and your heart don't just be emotionally driven why because it's not that this person doesn't love you they do have love for you i'm not denying this fact but what i don't like about your person is that they are somebody who operates out of their convenience this is a very convenience oriented person they are going to do things as per their convenience if they feel it's right they'll do it if they feel they need you they'll call you if they feel that they are missing you they will do something to let you know but when you need them they might have not been available all this while okay so this is a bit selfish kind of an energy where they are ready to give you but 
they have their limits too okay so this is not a very i would say organic kind of an energy that i can sense out of your person because they're scared of commitment i wouldn't sugarcoat this any further your person is scared of commitment they want you at any cost but they feel they are not deserving of what you bring to the table because you are somebody who's above them and they want to match up to you now in order for them to match up to you it's going to take a while and until and unless this person feels secure in terms of their finances in terms of their career they're not going to give you commitment they're going to kind of swing you here and there they are going to give you mixed signals they're going to confuse you they are going to you know just sometimes give you a lot of love and then just take everything all at once and you are going to be in that energy of confusion okay so i would say even if this person expresses themselves and stuff like that go easy do not rush things with them give them time to prove themselves okay give them time to be vulnerable with you give them time to have that open and honest communication with you no matter how difficult it is okay so go slow whosoever you're dealing with if this reading is resonating with you in regards to whatever i've said pile number 2 go slow with this person okay so this is what i have for you if you liked your reading please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya hi pile number 3 welcome to your reading so let's just figure out if your person could what would they say to you so for you we have the hermit in reverse ace of swords in reverse the distorted masculine the divine masculine okay i'll take these messages later all right if your person could they would want you to be the first one to break the ice between the two of you there are very high chances that you're not in communication with this person if you are the communication is not fluid it's very on and off it's very cold for that matter it's it's just it's not working i mean it's not very fluid is the message that i'm getting the way the two of you are communicating with each other is not on an everyday basis so if at all you are in a connection where the two of you are communicating every single day and everything is going good then probably this pile is not for you okay your person wants you to come out of your cave and be the bigger person make that first move talk to them communicate with them there are very high chances that there was a time in your life in this connection when the two of you were communicating beautifully and this energy just flipped unexpectedly so there are very high chances that you were in proper communication with this person a week back but there's something that has happened in these 7 to 10 days that you have stopped communicating with them or you're not feeling like communicating with them and you know i am feeling a lot of difficulty in delivering your messages this wasn't the case in the other two piles that tells me that there's a lot of blockage that's there between the two of you the two of you want to talk to each other you want to sort things out you want to you know have that flow back but nobody is wanting to make the first move okay so if your person could they would firstly want to listen to your voice okay they would want to talk to you on call they would like to call you they would like to actually speak to you speak their heart out and ask you as to what's wrong why are you behaving so weird with me why have you pulled back why are you not giving me the energy that you were giving a while back 
there are very high chances that you've helped this person in their healing journey and now you're not doing that okay especially if you are a professional healer pile number three if you are into tarot especially okay you have done something to this person that has helped them heal a lot so this person is kind of codependent on you this person is codependent on your energies and now that you're not serving them the way you used to it's not sitting very well with this person if your person could they might even show us to how angry they are i don't know why but i feel that you are feeling very detached to this person maybe there was a time when you were obsessed with this person but now you've reached that phase in your life where you don't feel like talking to them anymore i don't know what has happened what changes have taken place how your spirit team is guiding you and stuff like that you are not feeling very comfortable in entertaining this person anymore and they can sense this let me be very honest they can sense a shift in your energies they can sense a shift in your behavior and if they could they would simply ask you for your energy this person thrives off of your energy okay i am getting a mix of i wouldn't say toxicity but there is a fight between high vibrations and low vibrations firstly you're dealing with somebody who is in the middle of the healing journey okay this person has learned a lot from you and they're very grateful for that so if they could they would tell you that they are very thankful for whatever you've done for them but why aren't you doing it anymore so there is this demanding kind of an energy that i'm not liking because you don't owe anything to them you don't owe your energy to them but this person is feeling possessive over you because they feel like they own you okay and that's not how it's supposed to be that's something that's not very i mean it's something that's not very good for the two of you for that matter especially for you because you are somebody who is very energy sensitive pile number 3 and out of all the piles in your pile i'm feeling the most serious so i just feel that this person has been taking advantage of you advantage of you being a healer even if you're not a professional healer you're very healing okay your energy is very healing your energy has that effect that you make a difference to the lives of people around you and i don't know how many times i've fumbled in your reading okay it's just all going to go in the edit but i'm genuinely telling you that i am feeling so i mean just so off right now because i'm not able to communicate though i know what i want to say to you but there's something that's not letting me speak and i think it's the tension that's between you and your person that's going on at this point of time that is getting reflected in your reading a lot and my head is also aching that tells me that you know this person is losing their sleep over you if they could they would tell you that they are feeling anxious they're feeling giddy they are feeling nauseous as to why you flipped on them okay and i think you have your reasons i think if you're feeling the way i have explained till now it's because this person is not right for you at this point of time they have just been taking from you and they have been draining you energetically this person has not been treating you the way that you deserve to be treated if this person could they would tell you that you are making them a better person and they are becoming a better person because of you okay for most of you you are watching this reading for a masculine okay for majority of you this pile is definitely being chosen by those people who are watching this reading for a masculine figure in their life okay your person is 
very thankful because you have pushed them outside of their comfort zone so if they could they would tell you that you have made me a better man or i am becoming a better man because of you so i'm extremely grateful to you i'm extremely thankful for whatever you've done but i'm still not over that threshold so why are you not serving me the way you used to why are you not giving me the same kind of energy that you have been giving me all this while how will i survive without you how will i pass this threshold without you how will i cross this i need you i crave your energy why because i was living off of your high vibrational energies i don't care as to how you were feeling to be very honest i know that i am selfish i know that i am that kind of a person who thinks about myself first but then what do i do you are my only guiding light and you have been somebody who has managed to show me the right path i have been following your lead but now you're not leading me anymore and it's kind of throwing me back to my low vibrational energies why are you doing this to me i was so damn happy that i have started to look at things from a brighter perspective but then now that you're withdrawing yourself back i'm again falling back into my old cycles i'm again falling back into my addictions i'm again falling back into things that i always wanted to move on from or that i was moving on from when you were there in my life when you were feeding me off of your positive energies i need you i crave for your energy now will you talk to me please talk to me i cannot be the bigger person i don't want to be the bigger person i want you to bow down to me now will you do that i want you to do that i'm the one who's asking you to do that do it for me because i need you at this point of time if you want me to become the man that you've always wanted for yourself that you've always wanted by your side you have to do this much for me come back into my life and you know i was about to say come back into my life and fill it with a lot of light and the moment i was about to say fill it with a lot of light the electricity just went off okay this happened in pile number 2 also that the electricity just went off but then in your case i feel that your person is just struggling between their shadows and their higher self okay this person is fighting a battle that they need to fight just by themselves okay you became this person's comfort zone you became this person's go to person and they kind of started to you know depend on you way too much this energy of over dependency in this connection okay where this person was depending so much in you that every decision every step that they were taking was by following your light or your guidance but i think that the distance that is there between the two of you is for a reason and i know pile number 3 that you're very intuitive you know when something's off okay so you know what i'm talking about at this point of time i think it's very important for your person to man up to take accountability for their actions to take accountability for their own life you cannot spoon feed them i know this reading is about if they could they would you know say this to you but then you need the guidance that i'm giving at this point of time okay now let's just kind of figure out what messages we have over here this says don't be misled when fear speaks it's always wrong unless being chased by wild beasts and when love speaks it's always right and usually bouncy okay so now over here your person thinks that you have withdrawn your energy 
because you are scared to fall in love or you're scared to get your heart broken and stuff like that. If your person could, they would say to drop your guards off, to drop that shield, to stop holding yourself back and come forward, to not let your fears get the best of you because love is something that has been holding this connection so strongly for such a long time and now that you're letting your fears get in the way your person is not liking that okay so they would say to you to kind of take that leap of faith and continue pouring in the way you were continue giving continue giving your energy selflessly the way you had been all this while because they are a bit selfish okay this is not something that they are saying this is something that i am telling you that your person is a bit selfish okay then we have there's a deeper reason for each of your questions seek it guidance attention help maybe love always criticism never the question was what to give others if anything at all isn't it fun being you again sneaky energy why because you were the giver in this connection if your person could they would actually manipulate you into putting you on a guilt trip that you are not doing right by them by taking your energy back from them okay see your energy is a bit similar to pile number two when it comes to the sneaky bit okay both the people i mean in pile number two and three your person is kind of coming from an energy of what they can gain out of you rather than what they can give you and over here if your person could they would ask you this question that why are you not being yourself you are a natural giver you've always been the one who has been pouring into my cup left right and center now what has happened all of a sudden why are you not giving me your energy why have you put boundaries what's wrong with you you are a love being you are a lover where is the hopeless romantic in you you have always believed in fairy tales i could be your knight in shining armor i could be that prince i could be that king that you've been on the lookout for but then for me to become that version that you deserve it's very very important for me to take your energy why are you not pouring into my cup okay the last message that we have is you are being watched by loving eyes this of course is i mean it's understood this person is stalking you okay this card says what if you're actually an ancient gladiator of love and joy who agreed to visit earth during these primitive years to spark some new thinking share a few smiles and help others discover they too are awesome see you made this person feel as if they are the best thing that exists on this planet you made them feel special okay you made them feel important you made them feel loved you're dealing with somebody who's very love deprived you're dealing with somebody who's a lot of insecurities who is very insecure of a lot of things in their life okay the way they look the kind of money that they make i mean everything okay if you were drawn to pile number 2 you should definitely you know go to pile number 2 and just go through it once because you might have some messages because the energies are a bit similar okay so coming back to your person pile number 3 if your person could they would tell you as to how much they are you know eyeing how much they are looking at your social media at this point of time they are trying to keep tabs on you via your mutual friends via your socials or via any other xyz source that you know nothing of this person would say to you that you made them feel so good okay you made them feel that they are just a 10 on 10 and now that you have withdrawn yourself see there are firecrackers that are 
that might be audible in this video also if at all they aren't audible then let me tell you they there are firecrackers outside and you acted like a firecracker in this person's life and without you their world is not shining okay without you this person's world is full of darkness it's just plain dark you were that light okay that bright light that kind of gave them the energy the energy boost that they needed in their life you were that and now that you're not there it's getting difficult for them to survive on an everyday basis they're feeling irritated they're feeling very angsty okay but as a piece of advice though it's not a part of this reading whatever you're doing with this person is absolutely correct you cannot be the only one who's giving this person needs to man up this person needs to have their you know their life together by themselves you have helped them a lot but now they need to help themselves okay they need to help themselves and if you will try to help them again the universe is definitely going to create some kind of obstacle in your path that you will not be able to do that so give this person the time to grow so that so that they can just stop depending on you or depleting you of of your positive vibrations or your high vibrations for that matter dependency is one thing over dependency is something else okay and this person is falling in the category of them being over dependent them being just you know leaving all their important decisions their actions their next move in your hands and that's not right they are trying to figure their life out by using you as a medium that's not right your pile was heavy keep cleansing your energies because this person is not going to leave you that easily they thrive over of your energies and they will kind of try to leech on to you or to you know just keep tabs on you via tarot readings or anything for that matter energetically also they might you know try to come into your dreams and stuff like that so it's important for you to have healthy boundaries and to cleanse your energies very often as well all right so i hope i provided you with some clarity yeah pile number 3 i know your reading was a bit heavy even pile number 2 was a bit heavy and but i have to be honest okay at the end of the day my job is to provide you with something that's happening rather than something that you'd like to hear okay so that's about it if you liked your reading please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya